Hello everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. The purpose of my videos is to bring out the truth about the Watchtower. How the Watchtower have brainwashed Jehovah's Witnesses all over the years. And it causes Jehovah's Witnesses to be mental block and control by their faithful leaders, the government body. They can't see the lies that I have found after I found the truth about the Watchtower, how it twisted lies, how it put lies in their own literature, and sadly mistaken, Jehovah's Witnesses don't remember what the Watchtower has put in the magazines. So they can, later down the years, they can just keep moving a lie until that lie disappear out of their magazines. The Watchtower has published the Watchtower and the Wake magazine. The Watchtower has put out a lot of lies, but the Wake magazine made the promise that the Watchtowers was telling the truth. Interesting. How can one magazine can say the other is telling the truth? Or better yet, how can you use this to say this is God's promise why he made in one magazine, The Wake, whatever literature that they publish about one pathway that it was his promise, his word. I'm going to bring this out by using, first of all, the Watchtower magazines. Then we're going to go to what I found in The Wake. I made videos of this. Many of us made videos of this. 1914, Focus Point, the Bible Prophecies. Here's another one. October, the last one. October 1914, a mark year. Why? Well, you go to the middle one. 1914, the generation will not pass away. Okay, these here is the magazines of the evil watchtower. And so I'm going to bring something else out that used to be in, in all the Wake magazines till the fell prophecy of the 1914 generation exactly died. But this is what I found, and I partially remember in the past reading this, and someone else made a video on this. So this is what they had in all the Wake magazines before the 1914 generation passed away. Why? I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Why the Wake is published. The wake is for enlightenment of the entire family. It shows how to cope with today's problems, to report the news, tell us about the people in the lands, examine religions. Yeah, they examine religions, all right. Really, we didn't even learn about other religions except couple of their doctrines um, anyway and science but it does more wow it probes beneath the surface and points to the real meaning yeah it does it points to the Bible and it twists the Bible around to fit their religion so it 
they kind of destroy the Bible. Anyway, let's go back. Um, the real meaning behind current events, yet always stay political neutral and does not exalt one's race above another. Well, that's a lie because uh, Charles T. Russell uh, said in one of his um, magazines that God was going to change black people back into white people. So if he doesn't exhaust one race to another, why would he turn one color race back to a white race? I read that for myself in their books. But the most important thing, this magazine builds up confidence. Now, people remember this. Important. Most important, this magazine builds up confidence in the Creator's promise. Okay, who's the Creator of, for Jehovah? What says Jehovah? So, confidence in Jehovah's promise of peace and security. New world before. Now, remember, people, this is before, not after. The generation that saw the events of 1914 pass away. Now, what does it say down here? If would you would you welcome more information? Write the Watchtower. And this blah blah this blah blah that the address. And it talks about the wake is a part of worldwide educational work supported by volunteer donations. Okay. This is part of Awake magazine, October twenty second, nineteen ninety five. People, why would God or Jehovah, if Jehovah is God, which he's not, why would he promise a new earth before those men and women in those magazines would pass away? Or well, better yet, why was the watchtower told in 1975 by God the world was going to end in 1975? Why would God told Judge Rutherford, the second president, that the world was going to end in 1925 and Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, King David, all those men was going to come back to life? The main thing, people, we have to look, analyze this. Right here. Who's the creator? They say Jehovah. But the other resources says what I found. That nobody really knows God's name. Because you can't take YHWH and get Jehovah out of it. But let's use that false name. Confidence in Jehovah's promise of A peace, a security, new earth, world earth, before these men, these elderly people, promise that they will not pass away. People, now, you seen what was in the Awake magazines. That used to be in the Wake Magazine. Advertising. Advertising. 1914. Generation. Would not pass away. And. I remember. They was counting. A person who would have been 14 years old. Would that be. They would be in. Um, 
born in 1900, and he saw the events of 1914 that would make him 14 years old. And over the years, they kept going down from from 14 to 10 to 10 to 5, 5 to 4, and an infant, a baby. Well, then they take 1914, and it's already ready 2014. And all these people, it's well over, would have been 114 years old people. 114 years old. Can you show me in these pictures, please? Show me, tell me in these pictures, leave a comment. Could any of these people was born in 1914, could be 114 years old. And this is 2014. And remember what we read. It was God's or Jehovah's creator's promise. These people was in 1914, would not pass away. So what does this show? The Watchtower, Bible Tract Society of New York has been lying all these years. People, you are in a false religion. Why can't you read what they wrote? Why can't you see what they have published, what we have put out for you to open your eyes up and see the evil of the watchtower. This used to be inside all the watchtowers. When they realized they was losing the 1914 people almost dying off, they had to take this out of all the wake magazines. And when they did that, they was hoping that we People like me that used to went to door to door would forget and forgot all these magazines we was putting out and telling people that we were so close to the Armageddon. Look at these magazines. These people are in the point of dying. God promised that these people will not die. Thank you. And please get out of the Jehovah's Witnesses before it's too late. Thank you. And have a nice day.